Hi everybody. So, um, I know that when I started, when I was like looking for what to buy whenever I started college, I was like, I didn't like anything or everyone had too much stuff or the things they had didn't make sense to me and there wasn't anything I really liked. So this is my what to buy if you're you know, college. Um, high school students, you could use this also. It's just kind of a simple basic list, a school supply list. Um, basically, you're going to, I use, I like using binders. Um, they're a little bit heavier and a little bit bulkier, but I like using them because they have, like, in my opinion, you can you can reuse them, and that's why I like them because if you buy them for one semester, you can use them again the next semester. You just change up stuff. Okay, so you need a binder. Oh, I didn't mean to take. I thought I was picking it up. Okay, now. You also need a one subject notebook, college ruled. Um, I like the ones with the pocket dividers inside. So, in case one of your papers, you know, you, you can stick papers in or whatever. Um, I like them for that reason. Um, This is just how each class is binder is set up. I have my notebook right here, and then I have like the little post-it page stickers. I um, actually glued these into my binder, so, and I also have a set of four that are in my pencil case, and I'll talk about that later. But I have this glued, so in case I need it, it's there. Um, I found these really neat little, whatever these are called, I forgot what they're called, crap, hang on, Ta clips, little useful clips, and they have say stuff like, can wait, or urgent, or, um, they have can wait, urgent, important, and trivial, and this is just to help me with my, um, it came with eight big ones, four, um, two urgents, two trivials, two importants, and two can wait. And then it came with a lot of little bitty ones, and they're in my, okay, so again, I'll talk about that later. So this is my biology thing. If you want, you can, I like getting the ones, the binders with the clear coats on the outside. Um, I got these at Walmart, really cheap really simple to use but I just like I'll put a stick piece of paper in the front or something like um, a picture I drew and what subject it is or you know I haven't finished out for this semester actually this semester I am going to get some um, like I want to make a collage of different pictures on my computer and then print it off and that way it'll be there. That's just what I'm going to do for this semester. Um, and again, you can like reuse it as long as you have a different whatever. So, also I found index cards are, uh, they do wonders. Like, they're the most amazing thing I've ever had. You can like make flashcards out of them. If, um, like, one of my classes last semester, actually, for the midterm and the final exam, you could bring in an index card, and anything you could fit on the index card, a 3 by 5 index card, front and back, you could bring in with you to the exam. And um, that really helped, like, if you couldn't remember the definition of a word, put it on your index card, bring it in. Or, like, a list of stuff, like, um, my class, the class that let me do that was personal finance. Okay, I could not remember Ramsey's baby steps to getting out of debt. 
couldn't remember to save my life. So I just wrote the baby steps down and, you know, I brought it into the quiz. So index cards are great because, like, especially for me, flashcards help me a lot. So I'm going to be using flashcards and just get the regular size ones. If you want, you can get big ones, but to me it's kind of a waste. But if that's what you want, go ahead. Um, this is another thing I have found that is amazing. Um, at my bookstore at my college, they have not not products, and they're just cute little things to help you remember to do stuff. And they're not really that expensive. Well, they're expensive. They're not expensive for a college bookstore, but they're expensive. Like if I could find it at Walmart, yeah. Um, but they're basically a little remember too. They're a little sticky. They're like a jumbo post-it, but they have remember too, and then they have a thing you can do list, and you can check off that little box right here. You check it off, and now, now at the bottom it says um, likelihood of actually forgetting, and it has like a one through five, and you can circle it. That way, it, it's kind of a joke. Okay. Of course, you'll also need any book that, you know, you need for class. That's kind of a given. Um, I'm rec I recommend, if you can, buy your book used. Um, or, if you can, rent. Like, for me, I rented two of my books for this semester. And, um... It's, they are my Introduction to Psych book and my Argument Writing book for English. And out, these two books I rented, they were over $100 to buy them new. Um, they were over $80 to buy them used, but they were like 50 bucks to rent. And, I mean, I have them for the whole semester and I have to take them back May 13th. The day, the Monday after finals is when I take them back. I mean, it's a great deal. And oh, you know, whatever. It's a lot cheaper and a lot. I mean, you gotta take them back. You don't get to keep them, but you can highlight in them, write in them, do whatever you want. They'll just sell them as a used book. Okay. Now, this is my pencil case. I keep it in my book bag, unless I have it out doing homework or something. And I have a whole crap load of stuff in here that I think is, like, really important. Oh, crap. I almost forgot. Um, buy page protectors also for, like, a major project or something. Like, last semester I had um, to make a portfolio of children's art. And I had to have it in paste pictures. So, and again, if you don't have to keep the portfolio like me, I decided to change my major after this last semester. And I'm only going for general studies and I'm going to transfer somewhere else afterwards. Take out the paper and reuse the page pictures. That's what I'm actually about to do. Okay. Now, in my wonderful, wonderful pencil case, I have my flash drive. Every college student needs a flash drive. Like, everyone. I mean, sure, you can do all your homework at home, you know, travel around, but it's better. Like, for me, personally, it's better for me to be able to, like, last semester, I don't have one this semester, but last semester, I had this huge gap, like, huge gap in my, um, what am I looking for? Schedule. On Thursdays, I had a class from 9.30 to 12.30, and then I had a class from 3.30 to 4.45. I had a three-hour gap, and... What am I supposed to do? So I worked on homework. I went into the computer lab at my school and worked on homework. And without this, I wouldn't be able to, you know, like, if I didn't finish a homework assignment, I wouldn't be able to save it and go home and work on it. So, flash drive. Um, 
can't remember how many gigs this is, but it's a cute little ninja, so I got him. He was at my bookstore <coughs> at my college. Okay, and these are just some more of those little tabs I have in my binders, um, little mini ones. This one says Moot, Rush, um, Moot. I think, yeah, they just say Moot and Rush. And these you can like put on homework assignments so you can know which is the most important. Like if you have a huge paper that's due um, in a few weeks, and then in another class you have a paper that's just as huge that's due tomorrow, or it's like because it's due in a week. Put on the urgent thing. Because, you know, you can work on the thing that's due four weeks from now. You can work on that after you're done with that homework assignment. Um, I also have these Sharpie pens. Um, I fell in love with them. They write very smooth. They're like markers, but they're very fine tip, and they dry very fast. Um, I also have some highlighters. I like the clicky ones, just like the sound of it. And you don't have a risk of losing the cap, and I lose caps a lot. Um... I have some more post-it notes to stick in my thing. Um, I also keep a thing of chapstick in my pencil case, just in case I need some. And I have, I had to get a new one for this semester because I ran out on my old one, a wipeout correction tape thing. These are amazing. You don't have to, I prefer these over, I'm going to go ahead and open it now so I can show you. It really good because I don't like it in the box. Um, I love these because you don't have to wait for it to dry, and it's very good to, if it's in your hand very well. You can hold it however you want, you know, whatever. So this is in there also. I had to get a new one, so I had and I just had to open it. You have to get sorry. And also erasers in, um, and pencils. You're going to use pencils. I had to take my pencils out for a project, and I haven't put them back yet, but, yeah. So, erasers and pencils, that, and I have these cute little erasers. Um, they're the big erasers with the contoured comfort grip, so it, you know, it's a cute little novelty. don't have to get them, but they were the same price as the regular erasers, and you can slide them off and like put the grips on the different erasers like put a pink grip on a green eraser like bam and you know if that works for you then do it or you can just get regular erasers or you can get cute erasers it doesn't really matter what you get just make sure you have erasers because you're going to need them because I know I don't like writing with pencils um, especially after writing with these sharpie pens like the sharpie pens write so smooth like I mean, it writes really, you probably can't see it, but it writes really freaking smooth, and to me, a pencil, and I don't like the sound it makes whenever, like, it's on the paper, because it makes like a scratchy sound, I don't like it, but any, but some professors prefer you write with pencil, so erasers and, um, pencil. Um, trying to think of something else that I have. Okay, um, you also probably need some folders, like, uh, I need to get a new folder because I completely forgot to just now. Oh, my back. 
but for my English class last semester, I had to have a color-coded folder in, a, in order to be able to turn in my um, two major essays. So, you had to have that. You may need folders to turn in homework assignments. Um, it just depends on your professor. So, what I have right now is like the basic list of supplies that you'll need. Um, oh, and FYI, girls, it's always good to keep like a tampon in your pencil case too, just in case, or like a couple in your book bag or whatever. Um, oh, I almost forgot book bag. This is my book bag. I got a computer bag that can carry my computer in it, and um, it's really cute. It's a Hurley. I got it at my bookstore, with, and I used my financial aid to pay for it. So, I mean, oh yeah, professor's first high school. So, really, what I have is like a basic list of things you'll need. Um, but that doesn't mean that you won't need something else. So, when you go into the class first day and you're like, yeah, I got all my school supplies. Don't get too excited because your teacher may be like, I need you to buy another notebook. Like, you need two or three notebooks for the class. Because I had a teacher that did that last semester. She wanted one notebook for our notes and she wanted one notebook for our journal, which we wrote in every morning. And we had to turn that in um, at the end of the semester. So, just, you know, be prepared that you may need something else, and don't, I also have an index card case to put my cards in so they don't get damaged or folded or anything, but I think it fell out in the car, so I don't have it with me, but, um, I have three things of index cards, FYI. There's one for my biology, one for my microcomputers, and one for my psych. Um, I didn't need index cards for my English class last semester. And these are all the colored ones they had, so if I need some, I can go by the bookstore and grab some. It's not a big deal. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope you are a little bit more informed. Um... Everything that I have here, I, oh, also, every college kid, in my opinion, needs a laptop. You need a laptop so you can do your homework, you know, whatever. That's just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. Doesn't matter. But, um, also, if you have a math class, you're going to need a, a calculator. I don't have math this semester, so I forgot about that so just now. Um, I hope this you know, informed you guys a little bit more, so now you're more prepared, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.